how's it going? I'm here to help you guys with something. Uh, I saw some videos on there, but this is to address all the angles. Um, if you have on your thing and it says uh, Xbox 360 hard drive needed, then you're probably working with the standard 4 gigabyte hard drive for the newer models of Xbox and maybe even the older ones of Xbox 360s. Um, there's two ways about that. Um, I thought maybe you could have like a 20 gigabyte hard drive or thummy, but it's not supported for some reason. I guess they really want you to have the hard drive, 20 gigabyte capacity. Um, there's a few things. You can either get a 20 gigabyte hard drive, which is the old school ones like this, or you can get the more expensive one with about 300 some odd gigabytes. So you do have to uh, get a hard drive, that sucks. But uh, if you have to get the, uh, like I have a slim, right? And on the back of it, well this is a top, but I don't want to, because it's on right now, I don't want to turn it upside down. But right here, you can pop this grid off, it'll show you like the little prongs. Actually, you know what, I'll just turn it off and show you guys. Right here. You're going to see this little thing. You're going to want to press it in and take it out. It's right at the corner. And then you're going to see this thing, right? Oh, I forgot. That's a little loose. Um, and if your drive takes that, just buy one of these regular ones, right? And then you pop it off. On the back right here, it's sealed with the backing, right? It's just like a plastic case. Right now, I already took this apart but I'll show you how and you have to get either like this like this the miniature star screw that's like torque wrenched or you could do what I used and used a knife to pry it but notice right here which would be right here right here at the tip and right here at the back you can pry it off like without hurting the uh, the internal hard drive because that's just extra shelling. So what I did is I did pressure around the screws with my knife and popped it off. And then, once you get to this part, you will need like a star wrench. I got this at O'Reilly's, but you can get it at any auto parts store. It's a little star wrench. This is vital because the outer shell, not so vital, but the one containing that's holding in the uh, HD or hard drive is what you want. And once you pop off the end, you're going to have it like this. There's going to be four screws that you unscrew, and then you open this up. And then in there is going to be your, your hard drive, and it's connected to a little wire. So all you do is slide it out and unplug the wire, and then go over to your Xbox and look at the, uh, look at the, um, the plug-in things, the uh, male and female components. And make sure you line those up just right because it's kind of floating. It's not, it's not going to fit perfectly. But there you have it, and it sits in there. And it's probably good to put, like, maybe a piece of paper in there because it's floating and you don't want it to, like, jostle and ruin the connection. Thus, for your hard drive. And it will also help it breathe since you know, paper is not going to impede it from breathing. And that's how you put in your hard drive. Don't forget to uh, to put in this code. This code right here. You go. Uh, you go to uh, press the home button over to redeem code, and you enter that code, and it lets you install the other part. There's a lot to this game. It's kind of a headache, but it's a great game. It's fun to play. Destiny, and that's how to do that. If you have like a Xbox Elite or something where you have that area where this could just plug in, then that's a lot better. But this is how to do the hard drive for a freaking Slim or anything else that doesn't, that is the newer Xboxes. And, um, yep, well, that's Melrose's thoughts. And,
catch you on the flip side.